What's going on, everybody? It's part of the collector, man. It's been a long time. Uh, this is my triumphant return. Uh, hope y'all miss me, man. I've been busy. I've been doing other stuff, working, you know, being a dad, being a husband, and I've been doing some podcasting too. So it's just been, you know, a lot of things pulling me away from this. But I never stop collecting, y'all, because at the end of the day, I'm always the collector first, and I've I've missed doing this. And every time I I pick something up, I always think to myself, like, I can't wait to show this off, and uh, it's been too long, and uh, I'm not, not going to keep talking and, 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 you know, and all that, but I'm going to, I just want to say thanks for anybody that watches, and uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me go ahead and bust into this brand new haul for y'all. I got me a uh, Ben Affleck Batman, you know, from Batman vs. Superman mask. Martha! You know. I got this for 50 cent so you know anything batman i always buy uh collect um i got so much different stuff in this haul for y'all it's crazy um just to stick with the superhero weapons or equipment i put this on snapchat the other day i said i was feeling real worthy because now i have stormbreaker and as you can see back there maybe you can see it i have more engineer you know so i got oh and i got the tony stark gauntlet yeah, I've just been picking up random Marvel artifacts over over the last couple months, but I got a Stormbreaker for like a buck, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, I think I paid the same amount for the hammer. Um, couple, couple, probably a couple months ago now, I was uh, out at the flea market, and guy, I wanted to only buy one of these, but um, he made me a deal. I think I paid ten bucks for all every, all the starting lineups he had. It's uh, old school Manny Ramirez when he played for the Indians. You know, uh, he went on to win a couple World Series with Boston, but I've always liked Manny, and uh, I thought this was pretty cool. See, they were trying to get $8 for that at one point. It's crazy. Um, this one was pretty cool. Uh, Marshall Falk, rookie starting lineup when he played for the Colts. A lot of people think he only played for the Rams. Nope. Colts drafted him first. This is the only reason, this is the one I was going for when I bought it because I had just got a uh, Shaq uh, Lakers starting lineup. So now I have the Magic one because I have a bunch of his Magic memorabilia. Um, I redid a bunch of the parquet. Y'all probably like, well, I thought that, you know, he's got a different one. But uh, I decided to shoot it from this side of it. I remodeled the parquet, so I'll have to do a little updated video on that for y'all. Um, so y'all can see all the stuff I did, but I updated it and I added some more stuff and I got more stuff to add now. So stay tuned for that. Um, just to keep going, got, uh, Jose Canseco, man, Mr. Steroids, you know, love him or hate him. I just thought it was a cool figure. And like I said, the guy threw it in with it. So why not? Got a couple little ones. I'm not a big baseball guy, but, uh, Edio Nomo. And then he pitched for the Dodgers, and he was, he was a big timer back then. But I figure I'll take it. The package is real beat up. I'll take him out and just put him on a shelf. And uh, any Washington football team fans, it's got some vintage. It's a Gus Farratt little action figure. I, got, I know a couple Washington fans. I'll probably give that to one of them. Um, not a lot of clothes or jerseys. Uh, it's been kind of dry on that front lately. Um, but I did find this pretty cool Arkansas Razorback shirt. I got it for a buck. It's got the flag, you know, real patriotic. So I thought, why not get that for a dollar? Um, my nephews are really into Pokemon right now. So I found this really cool little, uh, Pokemon Center. And it's like, you know, you open it up and you can store all the little... Pokemon action figures in it and they can get healed and I just thought it was pretty cool you can even make them battle over here I don't know if you can really see that but yeah you just battle and stuff like that but got for a buck and he's got a bunch of the little action figures already so figure that'll work out good for him since I'm breaking into toys I got so many toys for, to show y'all this I was super excited about this I got this about a month ago it's the Justice League Bat Affleck Batmobile. And I got a super cool Ben Affleck Batman to go with him. I think I got him the same day, actually, but he's like the gold. You know, it's one of the like, hundreds of variant ones, but I got them both. 
uh, for a dollar. I, th I think I paid only paid fifty cent for the Batman, but I've been wanting a, I've been wanting one of these Batmobiles. I'm super excited for the Snyder Cut. Uh, if anybody watches my or listens to my podcast, uh, War with Cinema, we're gonna be doing a um, whole month long episode on every chapter of the Snyder Cut. Where me and Greg are super excited about it. I hope y'all uh, tune in and listen to that. Um. Prequels, Star Wars prequels. Look at this two pack. It's Anakin and Darth Maul. I have a Darth Maul. I even have the little speeder bike he rides on. Um, but I just thought these were super cool in the package. I think I paid three dollars for them both. Um, they're those little talking ones where you like put the chip to them and they would say stuff from the movie. But for it to be both still in the package in the in the advertisement with them, I was just like, that's just too cool. So I got that and. Uh, once I show you all the park cave and I'll put this in there with it, man, I got like three Star Wars shelves of all the action figures I got. It's it's really sick. I can't wait to show y'all. Not a big G.I. Joe fan, but I got this for 50 cent and it's like a G.I. Joe stealth plane. Um, like I said, I got a tank and a couple of the older G.I. Joe um, action figures. So I'll probably, because I got a bunch of more new shelves now, I'm about to put so much more stuff out. I got Dragon Ball Z action figures going up, Ninja Turtles. Now I'm going to have a G.I. Joe shelf because, I mean, why not? You know, with all the space, I want to show it off. I want it to look like a museum in here. Um, not a huge wrestling fan, but like I said, with all the space, why not, right? Uh, I got this super cool WWE ring, and it's got the, the thing and everything. Um I got one wrestler to go with it. Uh, I'll show that to you when I show all the action figures off. But I just thought this was cool. I got this ring for a buck. And um, my son's really into like Super Smash Bros. right now. So I figure like we can make him fight in the ring or whatever. This is just probably like the most random thing. But here's nostalgia at his best. It's an iPod mini. And it comes with all the cords and everything. It works. Um, I, gotta, I don't have a... a an Apple, any really Apple products, man. But I just saw this and the guy only wanted $2 for it. So yeah, I just, I picked it up and, um, I'm gonna see if my buddy can put some music on it for me. Cause it's like, why not have an iPod, right? Sticking with the music. Um, a lot of people don't have CDs. I found some would say the best Carter, Carter four. I got it for uh 50 cent cause it didn't have a case, but I personally, I think Carter 3 or the original Carter are the best, but Carter 4 had some bangers on it. And like I said, I got it for 50 cents. So I was really happy about that. Clean, Clearwater Revival. I just picked this up uh, this past Sunday. I got this for 50 cent. It's uh, one of their better ones. It's got Born on the Bayou, Good Golly, Miss Molly, Proud Mary. A couple bangers on there. So that was a good deal for 50 cent. My wife and me both are huge Adele fans. And, uh, this is like my favorite album she did. This has got Hello, Send My Love, When We Were Young. It's got a bunch of great songs on it, but uh, got that for 50 Cent. She's got every Abadale album now. Um, and I also got her Bruno Mars, Unorthodox, Jukebox. Got a couple good ones on there. Got that for 50 Cent. Um, I got this uh, Nintendo DS game for my son. Um, my kids love the playing I Spy in the car. This game was 50 cent for the DS, and I said, you know, why not just, you know, get it for my son. This game, however, was much more uh, sought after when it came out, and it still has a fairly good market for it. I found out the hard way. Um, Super Mario Brothers Wii, for the Wii, I have a Wii. Um, my son loves Mario, and when I saw this game, I had to buy it. The guy knew exactly what it was. He wanted 15 I talked them down to 10 and I looked it up and people are still getting 15, 20 bucks for these online. So I said, $10 isn't a bad deal. And it was in perfect condition. There's no scratches on it. I had the book, everything. So my son was ecstatic when I bought it this Sunday. And when he gets home from day, he wants to play it. So I said, I'd do my haul video and then we could play it. Um, to keep going with the toys. I got so many toys, stuffed animals. My daughter and my son both love stuffed animals. And even I have a couple, so got him a Pikachu. It's like a little bootleg Pikachu. I like. I just thought it was cute with the big old eyes and everything. But my son has like four of them, so I got it for fifty cent. Why not? Uh, my daughter loves Frozen, like most little girls do. My little princess, she loves Frozen, and this is the big 
ice snow monster from the first one, and I got it for a buck. It was really good. It still had the tags on it and everything. Um, Inside Out, the movie. My kids love that movie, and I saw Anger, so I got it for my son. Got him for 50 cent. This one is for me. This is a Hal Jordan Green Lantern. I happen to be a huge fan of Green Lantern, even though the movie wasn't the greatest. Still like Ryan Reynolds. I love him as Deadpool. As you see, I got Deadpool and Ant-Man right up there. And, of course, the GOAT, Michael Jordan, free throw line dunk. Enough said. Anyways, he's going to go up on the wall on my DC side. I already have a stuffed Batman and a Cyborg and a Superman up there. So, he's going up there with them. And for my Marvel side, as you can see, I have a little opening right here behind me. And that is where old school Iron Man's going. I got this for a dollar. It was really cool. Still got the tag on it. And I just like that vintage Iron Man. So I'm going to throw him up on the wall. Um, my daughter, I just got this this past Sunday. Toy Story 4. I love the Toy Stories. I think they're great. They're like my favorite Pixar movies. Except for maybe Cars. I love Cars too. Anyways. I got this for, uh, I think, $2. Brand new. Still had it on there. Um, the kids love Toy Story 4. I think I said this back when the movie came out and I took my son. It was just really, it was, I don't know, it was really great to me that I went and saw the original Toy Story in theaters with my dad. And now I got to take my son to see Toy Stories 4 in the theater. So I just thought that was a nice little circle of life moment right there. Anyways, um, my daughter, like a little doll, got that for 50 cent. I don't know if she's anybody big or anything like that, but. She's like mostly squishy, and then the, way the head's hard, so I figured she couldn't do too much damage with it. Uh, my son still, like I said, loves Mario, so I got him King Boo. Or I guess he's not King Boo because he doesn't have the crown, so I got him one of the ghosts. And I got him a big old Luigi because he's got a Mario this size, so I said, we well, got to have a Luigi that size. And I also got him one of the bombs, one of the wind-up bombs. So, he, and I got all those for really cheap, like a couple bucks. Like, they were still brand new at the tags. He's ripped the tags off of them since. A uh, little vintage, little Looney Tunes. Uh, I'm trying to get my daughter into it a little bit more. Um, like I said, I'm getting HBO Max for the Snyder Cut, so it'll get, get, give me a good chance to show my daughter how great, tidy, or how great Looney Tunes were. And I also got... My daughter, uh, Princess Sophia, stuffed animal because she likes Princess Sophia. And I thought this was pretty cool. I, I loved these movies when I was a kid. Uh, the Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It's the it's the knight he gets all of his arms cut off. Tis a scratch. But yeah, I got that for, for a dollar. Still had the thing on it, but I'll just throw him up on the shelf. But I just thought that was hilarious. Because I thought that was funny. So there's that. And also, got a little mini Batman, a little mini orange Batman. I'll hang him up on the wall. That'll be cool. Having gigantic elbows, you turn things on, you knock things off. It's, it's just part of it. Um, also, I got my nephew, Cole. I got him a bunch of the Imaginex, and he's already got the Batcave, so I thought, why not get him the Gotham City Jail, too? Because I got him a bunch of the villains and stuff to go with it. So, like... Why not? You know, I got that for 50 cent, I believe. They were practically giving it away. Movies. Oh, wait. I'm still on toys. Yeah. Now to the good stuff. To my stuff. The action figures. Um, my son's really into Ben 10 right now. He got a Ben 10 game for his Switch. So he's been all into Ben 10. I just got him a Ben 10 watch for Christmas or something like that. But I found this one. It's like the original one. Got it for a buck. So picked that up for him. This was uh, super cool, man. This lady was selling. She had a bunch of Transformers, but I couldn't tell what they were missing. This is Grimlock from uh, Transformers Extinction, the fourth one. He's the one that turns into the T-Rex, and he just... It's like a two-step little quick one, you can tell, but he switches back into the dinosaur. I'm not going to do it right now, but... I don't know. I have a big old Optimus Prime, so I was like, why not get this, too? So... This I got at the same store I got the other one, the other action figures I got in a package, but I didn't have the Thanos. So I got the super cool Thanos from Endgame. I got a couple of the other action figures from Endgame I got back there, but um, I didn't have Thanos, so now I got a Thanos. 
Uh, and I give the store a shout out, but they don't sponsor me. So you'll just have to guess or ask me. And I'll tell you in the comments. Um, this I actually got this past Sunday. I could not believe this. I've been looking for one of these forever um and you usually you could find them but they'll be missing uh all of his arms or you know it'll be just in terrible shape this is the 93 toy biz dr octopus man and he's got all of his arms and he looks fantastic like he's been like he came right out of the package i got him for a buck i was so happy about that because now i got a, another big spider-man villain so i was really happy about that i got my daughter because barbie's living her best life over here barbie's got a jet ski now to go with her boat that I got her. Sadly to report to y'all that the Barbie G5 had taken such a beating since it was bought that we had to uh, we had to let her go. You know, she's she's in the graveyard now. The Barbie Jet's in the graveyard. But found this uh, Dark Knight, the Christian Bale Dark Knight. I thought it was pretty cool. I got him in his little. This opens up and you can see him in there. But. Got it for 50 cent. I love the Dark Knight trilogy, so any chance I can. When I had my appendix taken out when I was eight, when I woke up in the hospital, my mom or my aunt, somebody had bought me the, one of these. It was It's a Bane from the um, Legends of the Dark Knight series. And it's just like this super cool roided out Bane. And he's just like, <gasps> and he's got a mullet out the back of his mask. But it was just real nostalgic and I found it for a buck. So I bought it. I was just like, that's super cool. But shout out to whoever bought me one of these when I was a kid. Um, this was the wrestler I got with the ring. I bought the ring and I bought the uh, Rey Mysterio. I've always liked Rey Mysterio. When I was a kid, he used to have the Spider-Man mask on. And when he would come out, he would do like that and some of his moves. But anyways, I've always liked Rey Mysterio. So boom, got him to go with the ring. Probably going to get like somebody like an old school wrestler that I liked, like Hulk Hogan or Ramp Macho Man, somebody like that, that I could just put in the ring with them the wrestlers believe it or not they still get a lot of money for the action figures even loose people still charge four or five bucks for them sometimes so it's just but if i find them for the right deal i'll fill the whole ring with them you know because that's the kind of collector i am i got my uh daughter this peter pan action figure i never seen one like this before it wasn't like a, a doll or anything but it's just like a really big peter pan action figure i think i got it for a dollar fifty cents something like that but Add to that in. To go back. Got me a Christian Bale Batman. To go with my Ben Affleck Batman. And my Val Kilmer and my George Clooney Batman. And my Michael Keaton Batman that I already have. And I have Adam West Batman. This, super cool. This is going on my uh, Ninja Turtles um, shelf when I get it built. Uh, I think his name's uh, Nutwing or Bat, something like that. But uh, anyways, he's like one of the last villains from the from the original show. Got him for 50 cent. I had a look at this guy. Uh, he's from 2099, X Men 2099. Got him for 50 cent. He's missing his little chain and ball that goes on the top, but that was cool. You know, anything from my childhood, I buy that. Oh. this I'm super upset about hopefully I can fix okay Whew. I was super excited about this until I saw the leg was off of it this is my uh, Dr. Doom original toy biz he's missing his cape but this is from like 93 it's the original Fantastic Four run he still had the gun though which I thought was really cool but anyways pretty good shape you know except for the cape missing but anyways got him I got a really it was really cool. Uh, I got a bunch of, like, just a little bit over time. I've just been picking up these guys at flea markets and yard sales. This is Cyclops from uh, 2099. He's got this long hair, and if you'll notice, he's got the cut over his eyes because him and Wolverine get in a fight in that storyline about Jean Grey, and Wolverine gets one of his claws lasered off by Cyclops, and then he cuts... So it's just a cool little storyline, but uh, yeah, they told it through the action figures too, which I thought was cool. I have the Wolverine. Nah, the Cyclops that goes with it, so I thought that was badass. Um, Age of Ultron. This is uh, not the Ultron from the movie, but this is more of the comics, you know? So, but anyways, got him for a dollar. 
I just picked this guy up last Sunday. I had these when I was a kid. It's the uh, Ninja Turtles, but they have a kind of like a box on the back, and you put a cord through them, and they pull it out, and it would say like Cowabunga or you know something like that. But I have the Raphael one, and now I got the Michelangelo, so that was pretty cool. Um, got a couple more. Got a little Flanders, you know, because my man, I got him for like a quarter. And uh, this is pretty cool, the Iron Man during the Armor Wars. You know, he's missing all the armor and stuff that went on him, but I got him for a dollar, so I was just like, that's cool. It's from 94, too. Got him the same day I got the Doom. And this was, uh, this is a Marvel Legends, Doctor Strange. And uh, some kid was a savage and blacked out his eyes. But, you know, why not for 50 Cent? I'll throw him up there with the rest of them. That was all the action figures. A lot of action figures. But you know it would not be a part of the collector video without comic books. So, I got some comics. I just realized how long this video is getting. And I want y'all to, to be able to watch it. So, I'm going to try to run through this last little bit. Um, super cool. Uh, my son loves DuckTales. Old school Huey, Louie, and Dewey comics. One of them 50 cent comics. It's super old. Uh, but anyways, I got it for a dollar. Um, this is a really cool storyline. I had no idea about this. This is uh, Beauty and the Beast from Marvel. It's a four-issue series. It's about the Beast and the Dazzler kind of having a romance. This is issue one of that. Strange Tales featuring Cloak and Dagger and Doctor Strange. This is issue one. I got that for a buck. Um, I also got my son because, like I said, Disney Plus has been a, a great gift to just me and my kids because now they get to watch all the stuff I watched. And we've been watching Chippendale Rescue Rangers like crazy. And this is issue one of that. So I got that from my son. Um, I picked up a couple of volumes at another store that I go to a lot and get a lot of good deals on. They should talk to me, do a sponsorship, and I'd love to give them a shout out right now. But like I said, if you want to know, just hit me up in the comments. Deadpool Secret Wars, Super Secret Wars. Uh, it's just a little, little mini arc about Deadpool. Using the Infinity Gauntlet or something. I don't know. I haven't read it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, because the Suicide Squad's coming out this summer, I'm really excited about that. So I sat out these. It's the old school, the 80s Suicide Squad. This is Volume 1 and Volume 2. So I look forward to reading those. I've been reading a lot of comics lately. I just read a bunch of them. I have more comics, but I'm not going to show them on this because I did not get them... Um, out of yard sales or flea market or anything like that. So I'm going to do like a separate haul just for those. Because I'm going to get a bunch. Whoops. Sorry there. That was crazy. All right. Last but never least. The reason why my wife will one day leave me. Movies. <laughs> All right. I got Justice League vs. Teen Titans. Uh, I got this for a buck. It's on Blu-ray. It's got both copies in it. I was like super cool. I love the DC animated universe. I really want to get the... Uh, the Apocalypse War, because I don't have that. It's probably one of the only ones I don't have. I got Superman vs. the Elite. Uh, I've never seen this one before. It's a little bit of an older one. Got that for 50 cent. Major League. It's like the special edition. It's got the felt grass cover. I have Major League 2. I did not, for some reason, have Major League 1, but now got it. Got that for a quarter. Most of these movies I got, I didn't even pay a dollar for. Uh, I just found people that were just trying to get rid of the movies they had, and you know me. If it's the right price, I'm your guy. Uh, it's Richard Pryor live in concert. I love Richard Pryor. He's probably one of my, he's probably is my favorite stand-up comedian, if not top three for sure. Um, I have all of his specials, and I saw this, and I didn't even know if I had it, so I just bought it. I think I got it for a quarter, 50 cent. This movie, never saw it, but I liked Paul Giamatti, and it's an older movie, so it's like, why not give it a watch? Got it for a quarter. It's called Sideways. I've heard good things about it. Scary Movie 4, got it for a quarter. I only like it because there's a little part at the beginning with Snoop Dogg and Mac Miller. Rest in peace. Uh, that's just hilarious. So, And I have all the other ones, so why not have this one too? City of God. I cannot talk about this movie enough. I happened to stumble across this movie watching Cinemax like at 2 a.m. getting off work one night. It's a, it's a movie about gangs in Brazil. It's a, it's a, incredible. It, it, I mean, you got to read subtitles. But it's just a well-made movie, and it's just, it's really good. I can't recommend this movie enough. I'm probably going to make Greg watch this for the podcast. This was super cool. When I was a little kid, I loved Batman, and I loved Scooby-Doo, and they had 
Scooby Doo meets Batman on one of the Scooby Doo shows. I used to see it on Boomerang Cartoon Network. This DVD has all the times Batman and Scooby Doo did a cartoon together. So I saw this for a quarter. I was like, of course I'm buying that. The Mummy. Not a huge Tom Cruise fan, but it was a quarter, so why not? Movie Boys and Girls. Not the greatest movie ever, but still pretty funny. Uh, Jason Bateman. Or not Jason Bateman, sorry. Jason uh, Biggs from American Pie. Freddie Prince Jr. is like the last movie he ever did. This movie I've never seen, but it's got two guys in it that I really love. I can't believe I've never seen this movie, but it's uh, Robin Williams and Kurt Russell. Best of times. Don't know if it's any good, but it's worth the watch. You get it for a quarter. This movie, I forgot they made. I've loved the first two. I don't know why I never saw it or bought it, but uh, Barbershop, The Next Cut. It's the third one. I did not hear great things about it, but uh, I own the other two, and I like Ice Cube, so why not watch it? I'll let y'all know. This movie we actually did on the podcast. When I bought this movie, I've been looking for it on DVD forever. Couldn't find it. It's not a big, well-known movie. Made Greg watch it. SLC Punk. He loved it. Uh, if you haven't checked out that review of War with Cinema, all episodes are on YouTube. Shameless plug. Go check that out. I'm a big Johnny Depp fan. Didn't have Rango, so I bought it for a quarter. This movie, I just this is our latest episode on War with Cinema. Live by Night. I like it. It's a Ben Affleck gangster movie about prohibition, and uh, it gives a little bit of history about Florida, you know, back then. So it's it's a cool watch. This I uh, was really kind of disappointed with this movie. It, not that it was bad. I just thought it would be better. Dumb and Dumber 2, I have the first one, I love these two guys, I was super excited for this movie, and it just, you know, it's 20 years, but it's not good enough, got for a dollar. Uh, another DC animated movie I didn't know if I had, I may already have this, but I don't know, it's still a good one, uh, Son of Batman, when you meet Damian Wayne, DC animated, I got that now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already have the other two, so went ahead and got Expendables 3, got that for a quarter, and... Just because they were a quarter and I don't have all of them. I got Mission Impossible 3 and Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I already have 1 and 2 in Ghost Protocol. Pretty sure the only one I don't have is the newest one with the Henry Cavill mustache debacle. But I'm sure I'll get it at some point because I'm a collector and that's what I do. Okay. So, this week in the Jersey Series... I say this week like I've been doing them. Anyways, in the Jersey series, this is my Lakeland Magic jersey. Uh, during my Jersey haul video, I showed you that I bought this and a black one. This one's reversible. You can go black or gray. And uh, it's dry fit. It's an amazing jersey. I got it for a dollar. It's like their practice jersey, but it's a G League team that's based in the city I grew up in. So, like, why wouldn't I buy that and rock it whenever I can? So, that's the story on that. Uh, it's a great buy. Like I said, it's a great deal on this jersey. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully this video, it ran a little long, but I haven't done a video in three months. So hopefully y'all missed me and y'all can go watch the whole thing. But if not, thanks for watching any and thanks for watching it all, man. I'm part of the collector and I will try to my best to try to make these videos a little bit quicker than, than every three months. So um, as always, man, I love y'all and uh, get out there and collect, y'all.